when talking about the role of media in promotion of human rights, I think it's important to take a step back and remember that human rights are values that are set out in national legislation, in national constitutions, but also for the first time uh, uh, expressed in the Universal Declaration on Human Rights that was adopted by the UN in 1948 in the wake of the Second World War uh, and as a response to uh, the horrific human rights violations that occurred during the war. So the dec declaration was the response that uh, human rights is uh, a universal, universal matter uh, and can be claimed by everyone. This entails that uh, various actors, not only the state, but also media, uh, would play an important role in uh, writing about uh, human rights programs, in encouraging individuals to educate themselves about human rights, and in addition to the traditional uh, media, of course, now we also have social media uh, that play a crucial role in exactly encouraging individuals to, uh, to discuss these matters, to tell uh, stories that do not necessarily occur in the, the traditional media. Uh, in relation to uh, the program that we are supporting, the Karama program, uh, we reach out to journalists uh, and, uh, for example, at the conference that was organized earlier this week, uh, we had a good cooperation with both uh, TV stations, with journalists, and at the end of the conference, uh, the conclusions uh, and recommendations that came out of the discussion among all the participants was uh, published by the media. Uh, so that uh, the information that was gathered, the conclusions, the main points from the conference could be made available for everyone. Uh, and I think such an approach is important in order to promote human rights, in order to promote a discussion about such uh, fundamental issues.